Hey y'all, it is Tuesday, not Monday, <laughs> and I am back. Um, I'm on here twice talking in two days, that's crazy. But anyway, I just wanted to run down my blessing and something that just happened. Had to go take care of some business this morning. Um, walked in and I was number nine. The person that gave me the number nine was rude. The person that called my number to be seen was rude as heck but when I sat down and started talking to the lady she started telling me how my glasses were pretty I was refreshing my nappy hair was cute and I was like okay but you just so nasty so in my mind I was like not receiving it well I was just like hmm and mind y'all I'm at the gas station so I'm refueling um, my car and my soul because um, nothing came out of my appointment today not one thing everything is pending processing please hold my favorite little word but I feel good I'm in a good place and that's confirmation that God is still in complete control every time no matter how I act and what I do he's right there so I was number nine when I walked in number nine when I got called but when I sat down everything was not just nine it was fine because I smell good, my glasses were pretty, and I don't think she heard what I was even asking her. So she started asking me questions, drilling me about what I was there for, needed some pertinent information. I started to give it to her, and um, I told her why I needed it, and she said, I tell you what, we're behind, but I'm going to escalate your case. I'm going to email the caseworker right now. I'm like, okay. This lady comes from another room behind her and comes into the office and I'm like okay she said I'm gonna try to work on this for you today um, I'm eternally grateful for the people that I saw this morning I won't shout them out I told them that I wouldn't because I asked them could I and they said no and I appreciate it plus I don't want to put all my business in the street but anyway um, amazing human beings one had been there 28 years and the other had been there about seven they both want to retire. The 28-year worker is retiring next year. She said she was tired of going home every day and not being able to help people in the capacity that she did when she first started. Meaning, she took the burdens of people home with her every day because she couldn't give like she wanted to give because the world has changed, um, leadership has changed, and politics has changed. Um, that's neither here nor there. But if you can retire, girl, good for you. And I told her that. So she's like, I'm going to retire. Let me get your email. Let me get your phone number. And somebody is going to call you in a little bit. So I'm walking out and she calls me. She was like, don't leave. Stay here for a few minutes and let us go through the file. We'll see what happens. I can't promise anything, but okay. And I was like, okay, I'm ready to leave. Start my day. Thank God for my parents. They are on sitter duty this morning. Um, but... I am grateful and that's my main motto be kind first I was nice to her I was nice to everybody's path that I came in um, in the path of this morning even though they were nasty and rude but see it turns it around when somebody's not in a good way or they're not feeling good sometimes you just not might be the push or the inch in, in their day that they needed so thank God for giving me some humility and grace and I've been I've been asking for those things because I think I'm a kind person but I'm kind of zero tolerant most of the time um but here lately I've been I've been getting this grace this dose of grace and completeness and happiness at the end and at the middle of every storm I was telling somebody that three weeks ago I cried every day it was raining outside and it was raining in my life. I don't want to be an umbrella and I can't stay in the rain. I don't want to do it. I think that was a rapper song, but anyway, I don't want to I don't want the rain. My shoulders can't take the rain. And I keep getting doses of it, but I keep walking out of it. I am just so eternally grateful every freaking day, y'all. Every day. Because no matter what comes up, the sun always shines behind us. And Grayson is thriving. He's growing. Um, he came to my bed at 2 a.m. this morning, and I was like, what do you want? 
he's pointing like I want to get over there and I'm looking like hmm. he waits for me to tell him no whether he has to go back to his bed or not because I don't let him come get in there every day but practically every day <laughs> and so I told him I just went like this like get in that joker jumped from the floor standing still up over me into the bed so <laughs> nothing like getting in your mama's bed and it being your place of comfort and security as a child um that's what i needed over the last month and i had that comfort um at the end of every single storm i don't know why i went off on that rant but i did say that to say be fine be great be number nine take whatever number god gives you today in any day and run with it make it make it your own it is amazing to just be happy and on cloud nine huh cloud nine and that's where i am i hope you guys had a busting tuesday i am so happy right now and nothing came up today but i'm happy so let's take it tap toe tip toe tap on into tuesday tap into your greatness turn it around it's a transformation tuesday you've got this be kind and keep going y'all have an amazing day